Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're going to do some more gameplay with Gladiator. Only today we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to do a little PvE and PvP action with this guy just to see how well he can do in PvP. Now we've already done some PvE content against Proxima. He's freaking godly. Uh, against Quicksilver, he's going to be really good, but he's just not going to be good against other world bosses because he's a combat type. He's going to have type disadvantages against Scarlet Witch and Cable. Uh, plus he just does physical damage, which hurts him against Call. Plus he can't do Ebony, so he's kind of a He's really not very good as far as his versatility goes against the world boss. But is he good in PvP? Well, I can tell you all that. He's a lot better than I anticipated. I actually didn't think he was going to be very good. Uh, because I tried him at level 60, and that is a level 60, you know, to be fair. Uh, he died super easy. Now that I have him at level 70, he's doing a lot better. But... He's not 100% reliable. He can definitely get it done. He can definitely take out some top tier characters. But he definitely has some weaknesses as well. We'll talk about that here in a second. So right now, my Gladiator has 36,000 physical attack. I've bumped him up quite a bit since the last video. He has 128 attack speed, 30 crit rate, which is going to be pretty much maxed out from his 4th skill. He has 191 critical damage. He has max ignore defense. And he has max skill cooldown with a leadership tag. And I did amplify all of the slots. I have 5 star physical attack Urus on him. I have 5 star critical damage Urus. And I'm leaving the other slots. I had the other slots amplified. But I'm saving that because I might, I'll probably end up slapping a rage on him just to test him with a rage. Because I honestly think he would be a lot better. And we'll talk about that also in a second. But I only put his first gear at 25. His last gear, I already have max ignore defense. I really don't need any more. Uh, the second gear, skill cooldown, crowd control, that's, I mean, who cares with him. And we get some all defense down critical rate. I've actually taken these gears up from 20 to 25 in these second and third gears. And it really doesn't make much of a difference at all, so I just said to hell with that. It's really only the first and last gear. And since I already have max ignore defense, at least for the way my cards are set up, this was the best way for me to go. Plus, I'm trying to conserve on resources. But Gladiator, I mean, he's a really good character. I've said this before. I mean, he really is. You know, he's got the nice heal, which, you know, once you get below 99%, he gets a 5% recovery of max HP every second. That's awesome. The one skill has a stun, a silence. That silence could prove to be very useful in ABX. We'll see. But after you see what he does today, maybe he'll beat Namor, but I doubt it. But I could be wrong. We'll see. Uh, the second skill has a 3 second stun. The third skill has a damage accumulation which is based on how much damage you deal. Then you got the 4 second immunity, which is really nice, the freeze. The 4 skill has a nice all attack buff by 40%, the crit rate buff by 40%, and the 5th skill has the all defense down, the stacks up to 60%, and the penetrate everything for 6 seconds, and plus he has a 5 second invincibility. Now the rotation that I showed all of you before was I would hit the 3, and then... Hit the 5 and let the 5 play out and then hit the 4. So it'd be something like this. I'd hit the 3, then hit the 5, and then I'd hit the 4. Right whenever the screen kind of zooms out, I'd hit the 4. That wasn't an optimal rotation. Actually, it was a lot better. It's just hit the 3, cancel the 4, and get hit going straight to the 5. And he'll do a lot more damage that way, and it's actually a lot easier to keep the proc where it belongs. You really don't want to use the 2 and the 1 because it actually will set off your proc the next go around a lot of times. So I don't like to do that. Now, that's what we're going to be doing for the PvE content. For the PvP content, we're just going to be fluctuating between the 4 and the 5. Uh, the 4 because it's a nice long iframe. And the 5 because it has that penetration. I really wish, like, they would have put... I wish they gave this guy more of a kit like, say, Doom. And I'll explain that in a second. Let's take a look at Doom for a second. Whoops. Let's take a look at old Doom. Now, if you look at Doom... They gave him penetrate everything in his passive. He has a 50% chance to penetrate everything in his passive. I really wish they would have done this for Gladiator. And of course, the obvious, a universal. That would have been nice. That would have really helped Gladiator because you're relying on that fist skill to do damage. However, the fist skill is not an iframe so he can actually if they have penetration he can actually die pretty easy you look at his hp pool it's thirty four thousand. so i mean this is a pve build to be fair i don't have hp uh, urus on him 
but I really would prefer to play this guy in PvE because I really think he's more suited for PvE content. Doesn't mean he can't do PvP, he absolutely can, but he's just not going to be top tier. Characters like Black Widow, Silver Surfer, Captain Marvel with their ignore iframes, they're just going to jump in there when he does his force skill and they're going to kill him. His HP pull is too low, he dies way too damn fast, and that really does kind of suck. And you know, especially for a character that you spend 85 million in gold and 18,000 BAM for, it's just absolutely insane, the cost of this character. Uh, it really, it actually depresses me. I mean, I love Gladiator. I don't regret building him because I love the character, but... If you're one of those players that's looking for a character that might be useful for your account, I just don't think that he's really going to be the one because one, he costs so much. He needs so many materials to get leveled up as well as getting through that god awful expensive epic quest. It's just, oh man, it's just not worth it in my opinion. But if you love Gladiator, then yeah, of course they're always worth it if you love them and you want to go all the way and build them up. Of course. He has a fully awakened power bank relic set. And we do have a CTP of energy with 2% damage proc. He really should have immunity to guard break. This actually hurts him quite a bit. But Jean Grey has guard break. I mean, she guard breaks immunity to guard break, which is pretty ridiculous, from her fist skill on either on either of her uniforms. And on her Marvel Girl Now uniform, she can do it on her one skill also, I believe. Which really renders the immunity to guard break obelisk kind of useless so that's another reason i'm running with the ctp of energy and i don't want to pay 600 crystals to unequip this thing i mean if i do and you know and to do that twice because if i unequip it once and then slap on a pvp obelisk and i'm going to unequip that then probably slap a rage on and that's just that can get really really expensive so i'm just not going to do that but you'll see with the ctp of energy he can still get it done it's actually quite surprising and he has no uniform. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take old boy against world boss Thanos. And then we're going to do some PvP action with him. So let's get into the action and let's rock and roll. So we're going to be using Gladiator's leadership, that 50% to all attack. Because if we put White Fox in the leadership... She's going to give him that all debuff effect and that'll help him help his all defense down in the first two phases against Thanos. But it's going to be pretty much useless afterwards. His damage is actually going to drop off quite a bit. So you're better off just to run with his leadership if you're running against Thanos for that reason. And of course we have White Fox and Shuri on the team. We got Shuri a decreased damage received by 35% to add on to the 40% decreased damage received that Gladiator already has making him much more of a tank. We're using White Fox because one, she has a CTP of inside, adding an extra 20% damage to supervillains whenever it procs, and the 60% damage dealt to supervillains. And you see the strikers, we have Thanos, Silver Surfer, Sharon Rogers, Luna, and Jean Grey in the Marvel Girl uniform. No all defense down strikers because that would just interfere with the all defense down that Gladiator has. And even in the second phases, say you use Weapon Hex, it wouldn't be useful anyways in the last two phases. And this will give all of you an idea of how strong he really is. This is only stage 30. A level 70. Good build. Gladiator. Stage 30 with White Fox and Shuri. With this insane leadership that he has. Honestly, it's not that impressive. It really isn't that good. I actually don't think he's going to replace... Uh, Namor at all because Namor could do this no problem no problem no all defense down he would plow through stage 30 but it's you know I mean he, with the all defense down you see the gladiators plowing through it now watch what happens to his damage in this part of the phase and I'm not trying to crap on gladiator I love him that's why I invested all this all these resources into him because I love him and I wanted to show all of you what he can do and I was hoping I would, you know, have more positive things to say. But look at his damage. And we had to get out of there, but... I mean, his damage falls off big time. Take away all defense down, and... Yeah. It's not very good. I mean, he was doing way more damage in those first two phases. And it just... Oh my god, man. It fell off a cliff. 
I mean, it's not horrible, but stage 30 just isn't nothing impressive. It, it just isn't. You know, there's plenty of other characters that cost a hell of a lot less, including tier 3-ing them, than Gladiator that could do this no problem. And that's why I say, you know, for PvE content, there's plenty of characters that can do Proxima. I just don't really see the reason in, in putting all this investment into him unless you love him. Uh, really, especially knowing that Silver Surfer Tier 3 is coming to the game. It's, oh man, you know, it really, I mean, Netmarble definitely wanted all everybody to use up their resources, and I'm definitely one of those people. Uh, so they might have to go out and buy something in the next update so they can Tier 3 Silver Surfer. That's definitely what it looks like. It is, I just... I don't understand. I mean, all the resources you put in this guy, I really would think he would be better than this. Man, stage 30 with max raid level? Man, that's not very good. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. I was really, I really thought he would go higher than this, but as all of you can see, you know, we're down to almost the fifth bar. We have, you know, a minute 25 seconds left. It's not, that's not that good. I mean, stage 30, you know, it's it's fairly strong, but for a character with, you know, this price tag, it's not very good. It's not very good. So hopefully in PvP, he's going to shine a lot more. And he will to a point, but we'll talk about that when I show you the PvP gameplay. Come on, Gladiator, you can do it. Come on. Okay, bastard going your eye frame. Wuss. Old Thanos gets pretty scared. I mean, it's almost a full bar, but... Mm. But I do love his movement speed. I do think Gladiator is fun to play. I mean, it's not all bad. I mean, he is a strong character. I mean, if you, you need a character to take on uh, decent levels of Proxima, then he's the way to go. By the way, just to let all of you know... I did try the old Trinity method, putting Nimrod in there and White Fox as the leader against Proxima. Tried doing stage 99 with Gladiator. Oh no. Oh no. I think maybe stage 80, maybe 90 if you can keep him alive uh, in stage 90. Maybe. But it's just not worth the effort. I can tell you that right now. Proxima jumps around way too much. This guy needs some serious crowd control similar to what Beta Ray Bill has with that paralysis. Uh, that would really, really help him in those kind of runs. But as you can see, with a better run, we could probably clear stage 30. But again, this isn't some, this isn't really that good for a character that costs this much. So let's move on to PvP. So for the first run, we're going to be taking on the Marvel Girl Now uniform with Colossus and Taskmaster. And on my team, we have Colossus to decrease damage received by 50%. And we have Taskmaster to add damage to supervillains and superheroes. And you see how we just killed Ojin. We're going to hit the four, three into the five. We get that penetration from the fifth skill. We can take her out. Now with Colossus, you have to be very careful. When your four gets off cooldown, do the little run around, then hit your four skill, take out Colossus. Now we're just going to run around. Taskmaster doesn't have enough damage to kill Gladiator, especially with Colossus on the team, so you don't have to worry about that. And the thing about Gladiator is if he's facing a character like Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer is going to mess him up because Silver Surfer has Reflect all damage so if you're using your fifth skill your second skill your first skill your his damage is going to get reflective use your fourth skill silver server's third skill will ignore your iframe which really sucks so now we're going to use our fourth skill and now if you notice we're taking on the x-force uniform Jean gray which is a blast type which has the advantage against us we just took her out once we're going to hit the four then cancel into the five and we took her out again pretty easy not really that difficult to kill Jean gray actually we use the four. Now we need to be very careful. You don't want to use any of your skills except for that four against this pecker. You don't want to get reflected. So we're going to hit our four. And boom. And the thing about gladiators, uh, you know, there's, count there's hard counters for this guy. Silver Surfer, Black Widow. Black Widow, because she's in iframe all the time, she's a nightmare for him. He dies almost instantly against that girl. She destroys him. So here we go again. We're going to take on the Marvel, Marvel Girl Now uniform Jean Grey and Thanos with Colossus on the team. 
And these are top teams, by the way. Come on, come on. Take out this bastard. We just wanted to use our force skill against Colossus. And there's Thanos. Go bye-bye. And we're going to run around, get away from that. If he gets caught in that fist scale from her, he's dead. He is dead. It is over. And that's the thing about Gladiator. He just doesn't have very much HP, and he can die super easy. But as you can see, he can absolutely destroy some characters in here. But Black Widow, Silver Surfer are going to be hard counters for him. Characters that have Ignore iframe, Captain Marvel even, that have a lot of iframes could be hard counters for him. So I don't think he's optimal here by any means, but I think he's decent. As to whether or not you all think he's worth building, that's completely up to you. But remember, you're going to have to go through that epic quest. You're going to have to spend 85 million in gold, 18,000 bam, and that's right before knowing that we're going to get Tier 3 Silver Surfer, who already can counter Gladiator no problem with his Reflect and the Ignore iframe. You know, plus, Silver Surfer's a universal, so he's going to have an advantage over Gladiator because he's a combat. He's a good all-around character, but he's one of those characters that's really awesome against Proxima, really good against Quicksilver, kind of so-so for everything else, not terrible for Ebony, uh... Terrible for Call and good in PvP, but only against certain characters. So you're going to have to weigh out whether or not that's worth it to you. Personally, I would just wait. I would not invest in this guy at all unless you absolutely love him and you want to put that into him. So let me know how you're all feeling about Gladiator. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.